Welcome to the Dr. Gundry Podcast. If your goal is a leaner, healthier body, or if you simply want to live a longer, happier life, then my guest on today's episode can help. Ben Greenfield is a multiple New York Times bestselling author, fitness expert, host of the Ben Greenfield Fitness Podcast, and earlier this year, he published a brand new book called Boundless, Upgrade Your Brain, Optimize Your Body and Defy an Aging, and if I have enough strength, I'm going to lift it right now because it's actually one of the deepest, biggest books you're ever going to find. There it is, Boundless. Don't get a hernia. That's right. Oh, my gosh. So on today's episode, Ben and I are going to talk about the keto diet, the truth about salt, and some exercises you can do for boosting your longevity. Ben, it's great to have you on the podcast. Welcome. Well, it's, it's great to be here. I, uh, I was commenting before we began recording. I feel as though I should have worn a tie and a suit coat. You look so nice, and I'm... I'm uh, I'm in my office on my bare feet on my treadmill wearing my old tattered hoodie, but uh, you know I, I guess I'm just gonna have to let you show me up. No, it's it's kind of how I expect to see you, and our our listeners want to see you, you know, in your element. So <laughs> thanks for doing that. All right, so there's some great stuff in your new book, uh, but you say that plant-based diets can lead to amino acid deficiencies and cognitive decline. What's going on with that? Our listeners want to know. Well, they they certainly can. You know, a, a poorly comprised plant-based diet can present one with a host of nutritional deficiencies. And I, I should say before I highlight what some of those are that I absolutely love plants. They're, they're a staple in my diet. I'm not one of those strict nose to tail carnivore kind of guys, although I, you know, I do a fair bit of bow hunting and spearfishing and, and I love to... Uh, ethically uh, harvest both plants and animals. Uh, just just yesterday, I went out to the wild nettle patch, which is growing uh, oh, about 500 yards outside my house in the forest now, and I harvested a bunch of wild nettle and uh, took up some, some wild mint and some plantain leaves and a little bit of a dandelion leaf on the way home and stopped by our little herb garden and grabbed some rosemary and thyme, and I took all that back into the kitchen and uh, what I do is I, I ferment the nettle so it gets this really nice umami flavor. I use just old pickle brine and I'll ferment that typically for a week or two. So I've got, always got a batch going. And then I just put the, all, the, all those wonderful wild plants into the food processor with some, with some walnuts, some lemon zest, uh, typically a lot of olive oil, some salt, some pepper. And I blend all that up and make like a, like a wild plant pesto. Uh, but of course, I, I I tend to smear that on a on a big old ribeye steak. So I'm <laughs> I'm an omnivore, and um, you know when it comes to plants, if you're eating strictly plants, I would say that the main things you need to be aware of would be uh, a vitamin B12 deficiencies, as you know the 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 lion's share of vitamin B12 is going to come from animal foods, and of course that can be skirted with, for example, the use of, uh, you know, like, like a, a sublingual vitamin B spray, like, like a methylated, uh, vitamin B, uh, like a B12 spray, or, you know, some people use, uh, even like a, like intramuscular uh, injections of, of vitamin B. Uh, another one is uh, creatine and creatine I think is incredibly important. It's a very underemphasized, um, uh, compound because it, I think it's it's very much associated with like the bodybuilding and the strength and the power industry. But in fact, especially in in uh, in plant based diets, it's been shown that creatine deficiencies are quite common. 